Hi, Safsal here, and for those who don't know me, I've been designing and developing websites for almost 15 years. In these tutorials, I want to help you understand the language of the web, that's HTML and CSS. Now, CSS board and outline have created some confusion, and to be honest, some of the videos out there haven't been that clear in my opinion, so in this video, I want to explain when to use them and the differences between them. Firstly, a little note about CSS property box sizing. As you might know, the setting of this will determine how the size of an element is calculated. By default, it's set to content box, which means that the padding, the border, is added to the width and the height of an element. If we set it to border box, the padding and the border is not added to the element width and height. Instead, it's applied inside the element. Hopefully, things will become a lot clearer as we go through this tutorial. So starting with box sizing set to content box. At the top we have two square elements adjacent to one another. Its width is 200 pixels and its height is 200 pixels. And we've not applied any border or outline. So in this second example, we've applied a border. It's 10 pixels and it's a solid black color. And when we set the box size into content box, we notice that the border is actually outside the element. If we calculate the width of one box, it's going to be 10 pixels plus 200 and another 10 pixels in total 220 pixels and similarly for the height let's move that a little bit so the height's going to be again 10 pixels plus 200 another 10 total 220 pixels and we notice that the adjacent box is actually shifted to the right so in the third example we've applied an outline again 10 pixels and a solid black. So when the box sizing again is content box, we notice that the border is again on the outside. So the width will be again 10 pixels plus 200 plus another 10 and total 220 pixels. And the same for the height. Let's move that a little bit bigger. But now we've noticed that the adjacent box, it has not moved. It hasn't shifted to the right as in the previous example. That's because outline, it does not really occupy any space at all. Which can be handy. So now let's use box size in border box. Again, the two boxes, width 200 pixels, height 200 pixels. So now we apply a border. Again, 10 pixels, solid black. And when box sizing set is to border box, we notice that the border is actually inside the element. Let's move that a little bit. Just reduce the screen size so we can see everything. Okay, so the width now of one box is going to be 200 pixels and the height 200 pixels because the board is actually rendered inside the box. And we notice that the adjacent box hasn't shifted right this time. Why? Because the border is rendered inside. So now again, we've applied an outline to this final example. 10 pixels, solid black. So when the box sizing is border box, outline again is on the outside. The width is going to be 10 pixels plus 200 plus 10. Total 220, and the same for the height, a total 220 pixels. And again, the adjacent box, it hasn't shifted to the right. And as we said before, outline, it doesn't really occupy any space. And really, outline is not part of the, the box model. So in conclusion, there's no real right or wrong answer here. It's just down to personal choice, whether you're gonna apply box sizing content box or border box, and whether you wanna use border or outline. You just have to be aware of the consequences. But to avoid things shifting unexpectedly, 
then some prefer to use outline instead of border and also because outline is not affected by the setting or box sizing.